Hey guys, meteorologist Chris Tomer here with this afternoon mountain weather update. We'll start with my bullet points. So as you know, the uh, snow levels have been incredibly high um, in the Wasatch, Tetons, Colorado, the Sierra. Uh, well, we're going to get some relief. There's a storm system and a cold front that's going to break loose, especially on 413, 414, and 415. It'll run down through Idaho, Montana, Wyoming, Utah, Colorado as a cold front, and it will really cool things off. Push the snow level back down. Uh, we'll re-solidify the snowpack at least for a few days. Then it will warm up again likely after that. But that's what's going to come south. It will spread snow through Idaho, Montana, Wyoming, Colorado, and a little bit in Utah as well. Now, what happens after this? Well, the long-term pattern appears to shift back to favor the West Coast, the Pacific Northwest, with low-pressure anomalies, a dip in the jet. I'll show you that forecast coming up here in just a few minutes. Right over to water vapor now. Oranges and reds represent drier air aloft. I want to show you the cold front that's going to be making its way down. This one should roll through um, just like this tomorrow and on Friday. That's what's really going to cool things down. Um, but you can see what's happening behind it. The flow is reorganizing. Look at this powerful flow here on the back side with that northern branch. So that's coming in. You've got action up here to watch and building low pressures, uh, lower pressure anomalies that will work its way in behind it. I'll show you the jet in a second. And then um, we've also got the southern branch. Look what it's doing here. It's, it's coming in with strong winds and warm air. And then this low, I pointed out this low yesterday, plaguing Hawaii. It's still here. Um... So, very interesting. I wrote about it this morning on my blog, chrystomer.com. Dirty snow. We'll talk about that. Late April pattern and a snow forecast through 421. Uh, I did go through a high wind event that deposited uh, desert dust on the snowpack, especially in Colorado. I haven't looked at Utah's yet, but I actually did a uh, co-authored a peer-reviewed article in the Electronic Journal of, uh, of uh, Meteorology with the N NWA back in 2010. So take a look at that if you want to click on that. So I do know something about this. Um, Moda satellite, you can see the brown tent um, to the snowpack in areas. Not everywhere in Colorado, but you can see it. Um, and then the dust aerosols, this is a pretty crude map, but all these squares, these red yellow squares represent dust that's aloft and ready to be picked up and infected or moved. Um, and that's exactly what happened. We had a broad southwesterly strong flow in the upper atmosphere, picked all that up and blew it into Colorado and laid it down on the snowpack. Um, Vale, you've got, uh, you can see the, the tent to the snowpack up there. Now the forecast pattern. All right, let's get into this. This is really interesting. So this is the forecast jet on 421. Notice the dip in the jet over the Pacific and the Pacific Northwest. That's building an area of low pressure. What happens with that after 421? That definitely puts the snow back in the Pacific Northwest. But look at this. This is from the American Model Ensemble. Um, Mid-atmosphere pressure anomalies. Big area, broad area of lower pressures across the West Coast Pacific Northwest. So basically it takes that and then moves it in. If this happens, late April is going to be wet and unsettled with snow across parts of the West Pacific Northwest maybe northern tier. Um, so definitely something to keep our eyes on. All right, back to the blog. Um, in fact, I put the map, the preceding map on there if you want to see it before on the 20th and then on that 24th. It's on the, uh, the 424 map right there if you want to take a look at that. Um, forecast totals, I did a breakout for the Tetons. You've got a bit of snow coming through time. Not a ton, but a little bit. Um, and then the snow forecast. Here are my numbers. So through the 14th, most of the snow is in Montana, Idaho, Wyoming, and Colorado. Those are the areas that are going to get the best new snow. Then look what happens. 415 through 421, the snow really picks up in the Pacific Northwest because of that trough of low pressure, those lower pressure anomalies. In Clip Shasta, now the issue is it depends on how deep this thing builds. If it really builds deep, then more of California would be included. But notice some of the overrun into Schweitzer, in Montana, Idaho, 
into the Tetons if this happens. We're starting to get overrun with this big trough. So that's something to watch and very interesting. Um, I'll show you the northeast, but we're really in spring skiing. I really don't have anything. It's too warm. This is where the action is going to be, out west. Um, and the most interesting part is what happens 420 to the end of the month. Do we get a big a big trough with low pressure systems over the uh, moving through over the west coast? Well, it'll be interesting to see. All right, guys, thanks for tuning in here. Always appreciate it. Take care.